Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today we're going to be going over in Lumber Tycoon 2 how to make a wood sorter for your base. Now, I am sorry I couldn't upload these past couple of days. That was because I just went to the dentist and then they did stuff to my braces. And, that, and like my, all my teeth just hurt really bad so I couldn't really speak. Let's see, let's do this. So... The items you're gonna need are a a right straight right turn. I know what I'm saying. Uh, what is this called? Oh, you need a straight conveyor switch right or left, depending on the side you're using it. You need a wood detector. You need a signal sustain, and you need one or two wires. It really depends. Like, if you want to use two wires, I use one wire. So let me just slip my base load in. Um, I guess I could use the cave crawler wood as an example. So, as you see, this system works good with a one by one sawmill. Oh, geez. This works good if you have a one by one sawmill. And, um,. So that, like, the pieces of wood aren't that big. It still works with big pieces, too. But as you see... Oh. I'm going to head back here. As you see in this one, you place zombie wood in the wood detector. Then the signal sustain is there. The wire goes to the little notch. And whenever a piece of zombie wood goes by... Just grab a piece from here. Piece of zombie wood goes by. Uh, and yeah, it just drops down. Uh, it might also be a little bit laggy. Uh, sorry for that. Yeah, let's get on to building this. Let me just clear out a little area. Uh, <laughs> Alrighty, so first we're gonna need our switch right conveyor, or whatever I'm using. So let me put this here. Oh. A little bit uneven. Uh, that should work. Yeah. Alrighty. So now you want to get a wood detector, which I believe is over here. Oh yeah, also I might be doing a video on how to make a glitch sawmill. As you see right here, these things are super useful if you want to make big pieces of wood. Uh, yeah, but that's in the future. So let me just check if this is in the right direction. Alrighty. So let me head over here. Now you can put it either like, <clears throat> uh, like right here. Uh, this would be the more preferable spot because if you were to put it like right here, then it would kind of detect it too late, and when it first activates, wood's probably going to be at the end and it's probably going to fall off. So, once you have your wood detector in, you want to get a signal sustain, which is right over here. Boop. Uh, let me check in the light to make sure it's the right direction. Now, I do this method, so I don't have to use that many wires. So, it might be a little bit difficult, but you have to get the, the sustain. Oh, geez, it's really hard to see. Alright, let me bring a light over here but you need to get the black circle on the signal sustain on top or on the black circle that the wood detector has and then that will still kind of act like it's a wire but like really short so with this light you can see what I'm doing better so if I can even get this on right there so you see the black circle on the wood detector is on the bottom Signal sustain is like more on top, but that's still connected. So now we want to adjust the duration all the way to the top or max. And then if we can go grab a wire, which I believe I have some over here. We're going to be connecting that to the... Uh, that's an ice wood, oops. We're going to be connecting that to the little notch that the conveyor has. And then that way... Any type of wood we put inside of it, it'll automatically activate it, and then it'll put it in the little container you have. 
The container can be any size you want. It doesn't it doesn't matter if it's small or big. Or right, like that. Now the next step is to build like the little container. Now I've made it just tall enough where it could be like a whole floor. You don't have to do this. You can honestly do whatever you want. So I'm just gonna start filling in these blueprints. I would recommend trying to like put the type of wood for your walls. Like for example, I have zombie wood in here. And I put zombie wood walls as to see like, oh, what kind of wood is in there. So if I go grab a little bit of cave crawler wood, usually a small pieces, eh, small pieces work the best. Although any size pieces work. Uh, try cutting it to one by one if it doesn't fit. So let me grab this. Actually, let me chop off a little bit. Wait, let me grab this little piece. Uh, <laughs> come on, Mr. Wood. Okay, yeah, sometimes if you make it this tall, sometimes you won't be able to jump on. Oh, come on, dude. Alright, jump on. Now, when you put this piece of wood in, you should hear a click. Like that. And, as you can see, there's like a little green laser. So now, any type of that wood will go through here. It will activate the signal sustain. The, w the wire will power the little notch. Then this thingy will turn on and it'll put the type of wood in there. So, we can test it right now. With the little bit of cave crawler wood. We could put it in like the beginning to show you. You see? If it makes a little boop sound, that means it's the wrong type of wood and it won't activate anything. So, speeding up the process a little bit. Let's go over here. And as you see, that is activated and a little bit of lag might happen. And there you go, it went in the box. Now, just because it filled in the blueprint doesn't mean it doesn't work. It completely works, it's just I did not fill in the blueprint. Oh my god, let me just fill this in real quick. And, um, yeah, I might be doing a tutorial on how to make a glitch sawmill. Um, tomorrow, or maybe a couple days later. So yeah, I'll be probably extending this a lot more. Because, uh, because I have a little bit more woods. Like, I don't have that wood from the other island with the fairy. I don't have that wood in my thing yet. I don't have palm wood. Um, I don't have end times wood, which I might get off camera. Whatever thing I'm going to do off camera. Uh, I have some yellow wood that I got from Wood or Us. It was glitch inside the ground. Uh, I have ice wood. I have to make a little pile for that. Um, I have a whole truck, pink truck, I don't know why recently I've been really lucky, but it's all off topic, and, um, yeah, so, I hope you guys like this video, please smash like, subscribe if you're not already, um, turn on notifications if you want, buy the merch, it'll help me out a lot. And yeah, thanks. Thank you guys for watching and bye bye.